cards, cards, cards. That's what I have to say. It is, gosh, January. One more for our current Make a Card, Send a Card groups. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh, sorry, my email decided to open up, you guys. So this is from Miss Gloria, thinking of you. How pretty is that card? I love the Highland Heather. Very pretty. And then you guys, okay, I'm just going to have you guys guess. Who's this from? Hi, Jean. Is she with us? Let me see here. I'm seeing if she's with us. I don't see her on here. Can you guys guess? <laughs> it's Sherry Miller. She, if you um, are friends with Sherry, she shares all sorts of things about horses and hot air ballooning. I think she's even maybe in a club. I'm not sure, but fun, huh? And then we have, oh, Miss Veronica. You know what, Veronica, you have good taste. I'm actually going to be doing a little sharing tonight of the picture that these picture this dies and our cute little owls. How sweet are they? Oh, and then the inside. Oh, those owls, those adorable owls. <laughs> and oh, our sending love. No, Miss Tina. Now, I love this background. And I'm assuming that's a paper, but sending hugs and embossed it and cute little happy Valentine's Day and a cute little sticker heart on that and the washi tape that says love on this envelope. Oh, I love it. Um, if you're in the card group, you may have seen some of these. This is Lois McNeil. Very pretty. Thank you. I love the soft succulent colors of this. So nice. Um, if you are in the Make a Card, Send a Card groups, or you're joining into the next round that's going to start in March. Hey, Sherry, I just shared your card. Hi, Ann. Um, I have a Make a Card, Send a Card Facebook group now that you can ask to join. And what we'll do there is we'll have an opportunity to share and post our cards so that if you're in one of the Make a Card, Send a Card groups, because there's four groups, if you're in one of the groups, you always see the cards that you get from your people, but you never have a chance actually to see the other people's cards in the other groups, unless you're here with me, right? This is Nichelle. Ah, you know what my favorite thing about this card is? The monochromatic. And I know Miss Nichelle did that just for me because I love monochromatic cards. Just love them. So pretty. Christy McNeil. Yes, Christy McNeil and Lois McNeil are sister-in-laws. Oh, look what Christy did. She did that little lattice technique. Very pretty. Just wanted to say, ooh, and a pretty little thing there. And her, oh, look what she did, her border on the inside here. Very nice to do that for the insides of your projects. That's very pretty. That's very, I, I'm getting very Eastery spring vibes from this card. Hey, Kathleen. Very, very Eastery spring vibes from that one. It gets me excited. Oops, I have to set this aside. Um, Char, I think you came in. I just want to say that um, our my paper share papers should be here any day. I think they're going to show up tomorrow. And then it's all about chopping them up, bagging them up, and away they go. So thank you very much, those of you who did the paper share. This is, anybody guess? Anybody guess? This is... Jessica Mebert. This was the ho 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 paper pumpkin that made tags, and um, and um, Jessica then took the one that I think was November, and combined the two. So that is so cool. That were cards with the kind of the cutout. And this here is from Miss Diane um, Harriet, and. I love this silhouette here. Isn't that pretty? Again, a monochromatic look. I love it. So those are some cards that I've received. Now my make a cards went out, but they didn't go out till the eighth. Oh, 
You're supposed to go out by the sixth of each month, and you know, sometimes that happens, and I just was so bogged down. And um, and it was so interesting to me how um, how long sometimes our projects can take. Anywho, it is hump day, you guys. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so let's talk about celebration. So I have a blog post that shares all my best tips and ideas on purchasing products that coordinate really well with some of the celebration products and then how you can kind of get all of those celebration picks by having kind of a strategic way of ordering. So first I want to talk about my adorbs, the adorbs owls. Okay, so that's that level one idea. So I was thinking about if you really wanted to get the adorable owls and you really weren't sure on what you were gonna be purchasing to get this set, I had said that you should consider purchasing the Cloud Punch and the Picture This Dies. Now, the picture this dies are $34 and the cloud punch is $19. And so when you purchase those two, that's $53 and then you can get the adorable owls free. So why did I think I thought this would be a good combination? And maybe you already have the picture of these dies. Well, then just from this, maybe you'll think about another die set or something like that that could work for this. But let's take a look at what we're going to create because it's so fun. All right, I've got a bunch of things already in this envelope here, you guys. I did some thinking. <clears throat> and these rhinestone waves basic jewels, <clears throat> I don't think they're current anymore, but I love the balmy blue stuff that's right in here and so we're going to use them. And I have some of the gingham, um, the gingham uh, DSP which is a six by six pack. Uh-oh, let me take this back, sorry. All right, now I am using one of the good things, cards and envelopes already done, which makes things really easy. And I was thinking about doing, cause I have so many packs of these. I was thinking about doing kind of a class where you'd like get a whole package of these and then do like a stamp to your cramp night over at my house or something, that'd be really fun. But anyway, so I have a piece of five and a quarter by four here. And then I took the round, picture this dies, these guys, this right here. And I want you to notice how nice these are. They've got like a double edge scallop going on here, which is really cool. Now, what does that mean? That means when you punch out and die cut this, you are also getting all of the circles that you punched, they come out and they also have a stitching. That's how it's double stitched. It stitches all around the one hole that stays in the paper and then it also gives you the stitching on these circles. Now when you punch out and die cut all of that, you get all of these fun circles that are left. Now you can use these circles for some more layering where you then just put a white one on here and put a sentiment or something. You can do some creative things by simply, if I just take this right here and I decide to take these circles and just do a fun kind of pattern all along on here, you know, something, something fun, maybe they're touching kind of different things. And then you could have some focal point. You could have flowers, you could have, oh, you could have the owl, you could have um, maybe the bunny, you could even have, oh, how about this birthday piggy? How fun would he be with all of these circles? This one right here, rooting in the flowers, okay? So when you have the picture of these, this dies, you have all of these other kind of things you could think about going outside of the box and doing more with and pulling in your other, your other products that you have. So I'm taking these and setting them aside because we're not using them for this card, but I wanted to share some ideas with you on what you can then use those other pieces for because you kind of get a twofer on, the, on these, right? Okay, so I already die cut those out. I'll stop blabbling here. <laughs> oh, Michelle, no problem. 
I'm glad you're here, Cindy. More people joining. That's so fun, you guys. Thank you. Now, we have, like I said, a five and a quarter by four, and then I have this that I'm going to be putting on top, okay? And I just love, like I said, you guys, I am a monochromatic girl. <laughs> but now I'm going to be using my owls here, and here's the issue. I can't just stamp an owl here because it's not going to make it. So I'm going to turn around. I had my little pencil out here, and I put it back up saying, why is that pencil there? I'm so silly. I need my pencil. So you could think about doing a little bit... I thought about my um, Stamparatus, but that still didn't necessarily solve my problem because my owls are bigger than the circles. So I'm taking this very interesting color and I'm just lightly drawing a circle where I'm going to have my owls peeking out. And I'm not doing it to where you're going to end up seeing it at all, okay? In fact, you guys probably can't even see those circles. Let's see. If I put it up here. Mini Mickey. Oh, nieces and nephews. That's so fun. I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't really matter if you can't. So now I'm going to take out my fun little guys here. And I want the guy with the... That one. And I want the birthday one. Now, if I stamp my birthday guy right, we won't see his birthday hat. I don't want to see the birthday hat. Okay. All right. So I'm going to ink up my birthday one first. And I see my circle that I have, and I'm going to go ahead and then just punch. Punch. No, I'm going to stamp. Sorry. And there he is. Now, see, I don't even have his hat all the way, and it doesn't matter because that's going to be covered. And I'm going to ink up the little guy with his tie, and he goes right in this one. And I have him in that circle, too. Now, you guys, I know you cannot see the little circles I drew. I just know you can't. <laughs> That's okay. Now, let me bring this back over and see how we did. And see how cute that is? How they're peeking through there, and... I can even raise this up with dimensionals if I want to, but here is the little thing that's so cool, you guys. You ready for it? I took the stamp set, and you're going to say, oh my god, what did you do? See, we have the hoot hoot, you're so cute. Well, that's so great, but that hoot hoot, you're so cute is too big to go across here, so I cut it apart. I have hoot hoot, you're so cute. And, you know, I can do that because it's my stamp set, right? And because it's a celebration one, heck, if I want to get another one, I'll just get another one and I'll leave it the way it is. But this allows me to take the hoot and do like hoot hoot on top of each other, one above each other, and then the you're so cute underneath. It just gives me so much more um, use of my sentiment. Now, when you do that, I want you to make sure when you're trimming, you don't undercut. So that means you want to have your scissors blades out like this because you want that rubber underneath to be extended out, not um, short. You don't want it to go in like that because then you're going you're gonna to undercut that. So I should have just cut it with you guys and then you would have saw what I meant. So now I'm going to lay this together. It is the same size. They're both five and a half by four. And I'm going to do hoot, hoot, hoot. <laughs> How cute is that? Hoot, hoot, hoot. And then you know what I'm going to say, right? Sorry, I'm going to try to be really organized and clean my stamp while we go. Hoot, hoot, hoot. You, know, you think I'm going to say, um, you're so cute? Is that what you think I'm going to say? I'm not. I'm going to do, it's your day. Hoot, hoot, hoot. It's your day. Or do you want me to say, you're so cute? Nah, I'm doing, it's your day.
there we are. Now, let's grab, yeah, I gotta do some little coloring. I thought about this and I was like, oh no, more coloring. Are these the same color? No, they can't be. Light, dark, okay. So how many of you send out Valentine's Day cards? Do you pass them out to like people you work with or your friends, or do you actually make them and mail them out to family and friends? Yeah, you know, you can, um, a pencil is great. My problem oftentimes is that like these guys just wouldn't have worked in the Stamparatus. So I'm making one of my owls gray. The other owl's gonna be brown. Okay, now we need our light. Is this the light one? A light gray granite. We'll go quick, 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 quick. Yeah, you know, I did my card that I just sent out in the Make a Cards was a Valentine's card. But I, as you guys know, I do up Valentine treat things for everybody at work, which is about 16 people up at our district office there that I, where I work in, in our uh, school building. And I'm going to be doing those little um, treat boxes that is a kit on Stampin' Up that I did that um, treat box and a card video. Now this one's much darker, let's see. That's all right. It'll be cute. It's so funny though, you guys, you know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do and then I'm like, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I do something like I go to Dollar Store or I go to Michael's. Oh my gosh, don't go to Joann's right now. Joann's in my area, it's like they're completely redoing the store. There's boxes everywhere. And it's just a complete mess. There's nothing on the shelves. And then there's like a little bit on this shelf or that shelf. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I only came in here to use the restroom because I would lose my mind if I came in here to try to find something. Anybody else been to Joann's and seen that? Now I need my, now I'm just grabbing my, I've got um, just my water-based markers here. I think in one of my circles, the little uh, owls, one of his foot is kind of sticking out a little bit. And I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Don't want none of that. All right. So now our guy's little bow. Ooh, I just got dark colors here. Well, we'll let him have a dark a dark blue. How dark is this blue? Ooh, I'm just doing it right there because it's not going to be seen. This is, oh, you know what? This is a deep dark one. Is this night a navy? I don't even know. Are you night a navy? Oh my goodness. Go ahead and give them a little yellow eyes. And his hat shows a little bit. So I'm going to do a yellow right there. And do that right there and that right there. And that's all that's going to show. 
All right. Now, easy peasy, we're just going to glue this down. Dandy design, paper's gorgeous in person. Which paper? Oh, the dandy designs, yes. Yes. Is it the dainty designs that you're talking about? Uh, the dainty designs are, isn't that in the celebration? We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, I have to decide if I'm bringing this up with dimensionals or if I'm just going to lay it flat. And I think I'm just gonna lay it flat, you guys, to be honest, because when I raise, I feel like when I raise it up, oh, look what I did. You can see that, oh no. I didn't do it far enough away. I'll just have to glue it off a little, glue it off a slight a little bit. Oh, I thought it was over far enough from the little guy to be covered by this paper. Look at that fun, that's just like a picnic, isn't it? That little sweet sorbet. You guys know me and my sweet sorbet. Oh, I'm just gonna let it show, I don't care. But I do care, oh well, <laughs> anyhow. There he is, hoot hoot, you're so cute. Hey, have any of you seen the new show, Trent Williams, the detective guy? Oh, dandy design. Will Trent, I think it's called. The second episode was on yesterday. I'll watch it on Hulu tonight. Seems like a fun, a fun show. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. There's one, there's two, and there's our three. I don't know. I'm gonna put one right in the middle of his tie because that's way too cute. All right, hoot, 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 it's your day. And on the inside, we need a happy birthday. That's why I had my, that is not why I had my piggies out. Do you, am I, yeah. Do you know and believe, hello, Look at the piggy, this birthday piggy. Do you see happy birthday in this set? Hi, Lynn. <laughs> I do not see happy birthday. It's, it's your birthday. This piggy says happy birthday. Enjoy the ride. Happy, happy birthday on this flag. But that is not birthday. So my gosh. So I need a happy birthday for the inside. So I will use, of course, my peaceful moments where I used it for the word happy birthday. It's amazing to me. Did you know that birthday stamp sets are the most widely stamp sets purchased? Birthdays. And then guess what? Flowers. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday. <sighs> All of that work to find a happy birthday. So hoot, 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 it's your day. Now, could I have put the third owl right here and just done hoot, hoot, hoot? That could have been very, very cute too, couldn't it? In fact, that probably would have been cuter to have all three of those owls. But then you would have had to sit there while I colored a third owl. And who wants to do that? <laughs> right? Who wants that? Not me. You guys sitting there watching me, I just feel like it all conscientious of you watching me color. It's like, oh no. All right, so now that was the picture this dies, but we haven't used our cloud punch, right? And so, We'll want to do that. The other thing that could happen is on here, you might find and say that you want to have this covered up and then you want to have another sentiment on the top here. That is kind of totally fine as well. And then you could just take some, some, um, some other piece and do a long something or other there. So just because all those holes are there doesn't mean you have to use them all. But, you know, 
so many possibilities. Okay, so now we said what the picture this dies is $34. Oh, did I just put, I certainly did. Hold on, hold the phone. That is not belonging there. But what did you guys think about me cutting apart my words? My hoot hoot, you're too cute. Could have stamped off an owl for the third circle so the outline was background. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. The only paper I'm not fond of in celebration is the purple floral ones. The purple floral ones. Hold on. Kathleen, you just made us all go, the what? <laughs> the purple floral ones. Are you talking about, oh, here's the dainty flowers. So cool. I used that last time with the bunny. Are you talking about this one here? The favored flowers, Kathleen? Is that the one you're talking about that you don't care for? I have to tell you what, um, with this particular one, I was finding it, the leaf structure of the things was weird to me. Fragrant flower bundle. I'll show you what I mean. So if I go to the fragrant flower bundle, I'm seeing, you're seeing the catalog now. Uh, page 21. I didn't, I have not bought this. Okay. But on here, and see, I don't think it looks too weird here, but I was finding the whole thing to be kind of odd the way the leaves were. I'm not sure what about it that was bothering me with these leaves, but something was. And it could be possibly the paper shows it more or something, but it's like, I thought it was kind of weird, but hold on a second. Okay, so here, this is what I'm talking about. So let me open this up, you guys. This is a lot of design, and I, I get that. I got no problem, I, you know. I, but what's really interesting about this, I mean, you look at this, and it's coming right out at you. It's so dimensional. I mean, and that's really, really cool. But this particular page right here, the flowers are beautiful, but I was feeling like these leaves were like little arms of serpents. Is anybody else getting that from me, from me, from it? This particular page, I'm just like, what? The, what is going on with these leaves? It looks like worms or something. But go to this page, and the, those colors are gorgeous. The backgrounds are so deep and gorgeous. Here's an example of, I think, probably being able to use some of the dyes, right? But, you know, and that's the thing. Everybody has their tastes, and that's totally great. This is quite a bold and busy and then we're getting again into this kind of, I don't know. I mean, I just think it's beautifully intricate and gorgeous, but I'm getting kind of the... <laughs> so that's just the colors are just, wow. And of course, this fresh freesia color is just so great. But anyway, so that is, again, a level one. And this paper coordinates just like the barnyard paper coordinates with the bundle that's in the uh, mini catalog. But there you go. That's that favored flowers that you were talking about there, Kathleen. But you know what? <laughs> I'll do a one sheet wonder with this. And all of a sudden you'll go, okay, I've changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of design, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty big time. Oh, now why did I have this? Because it was just extra from when I cut that. So I thought about I might put it on the inside here, down at the bottom or something like that. I just, I hadn't, so, okay. So the, that was our rhinestone waves. So cute. Yeah, I think the third owl would have been really cute there. And you know, I still happen to have, <laughs> here, a whole stamped out sheet of those owls. So think about this little owl guy. 
being here and cut out and put right there. That would have been really, really cute, like right there, and have them standing with the dimensional out. Very cute. But I think it's very cute what I just did. So there we go. And I have a coordinating envelope. Okay. Let's get back on it. So we've done the picture this dies. So I said you can earn a one a level one celebration with purchasing the picture this dies and the cloud punch. Well, let's talk about the cloud punch now. All right. And again, I'm using my good things cards with the envelopes already there. And I've got some things here. Now I'm using the Regency Park. What is this one called? Regency Park Designer Series Paper. It's another six by six. And I've used this actually quite a bit. You can see my package is all uh, open and, <laughs> and all of that. Uh, but again, I have a five and a, a five and a quarter by four that's going right here. And then this guy is going to come right down here like so. So I'm just going to glue it down. Oh, the lavender page. I see it too, Mary. What do you see? You see it too? Oh, you see it's like a, you see it too like being a, like some worms or, I don't know, just, that's just what it struck me as. And I, you know what, you guys, I never have anything really negative to say. I love almost everything all the time. But I just, I don't know, I just can't get down with that. So now we also then have this really pretty balmy blue Kind of, it's kind of a flat satiny. And so I was thinking that I am going to, no, I'm not going to go all the way around it. There's a lot there, but I don't want to, I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to do my little trick where I put a little adhesive. Let's see where I want this. Do I want the blue up top? Yes. And the white? Yes. And this is going to come around like so. And my ribbon scissors. All right. And that's just going to get glued down. It can. It really can. Okay, so everybody that's here, you love the other two in the celebration, the other two papers, Kathleen? Is that what you're talking about? There's the one that's a level two that's a huge 12 by 12, like 48 sheets. It's a big, big, um, big one. I'm going to pull this out because I'm not sure if I'm going to do a bow or if I'm just going to do a knot. We'll see. Now, here comes the fun part. I need a piece of this and the cloud punch. All right, you ready? We are going to punch out three clouds. One. Yes, I'm doing out of pattern paper. And I don't need three full clouds. So I'm gonna come over here. But I need a I need a straight edge here. I'll follow this line of flowers I can see on the other side of the paper. I'm just gonna do like a part of a cloud here and have it go off the side like that. Okay. Now that I've done that, though, I want another cloud. Let me just grab this here that has this, and I'm going to punch out a white one, and you'll see why in a minute. Aren't those clouds fun? So fun. Okay, now why did I do a white cloud? Well, what will happen is I'll go ahead and I'll do this one, and then when I put this one over top of it, do you see how it just bleeds into the other one? You can't see any definition at all. So what I do is I'm going to take this one and put a little adhesive on the back. Then we're going to go ahead and just give this cloud a little shadow with the white. See how I did that there? Now when I put this cloud with the other cloud, I get that definition. And I can then see the separation between the clouds. 
and that's why how that's happened. Now this one is also going to go off the edge. So let me put glue on this one. This is going to go right here. Then this white cloud with the, the cloud with the shadow is going to kind of go right here. And then you can see, see how that is seen then from that one. And then this one's going to come up in here. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Right up to the edge. Oops, oh my gosh, you guys. Oopsie, oopsies, that did not solve my problem in the least. <sighs> okay. Now I have a little owl here that I started to cut out and I thought, well, I should probably color him first. So we're going to real quick do, I think grays will be better for him. So it's interesting, you know, when I was taking a look at the um, cloud punch, and it's interesting because punches actually can be a little bit expensive, and this particular one is $19. But you think about all the mechanics involved in the punches, right? I think I did this the wrong way. I wanted the light on the outside, but oh well. And you know, we've had the conversation before that I do love my punches. I gotta get up with our great tip. Love the look. A lot of clouds because hot air balloons I have. Oh, yeah, and I, you know what? It's funny, Sherry. I told everybody when I was sharing your card, I was trying to get them to guess whose card it was. Just because the times that you're on here, you know, we talk about um, horses too horses and balloons, horses and balloons. And um, I don't know if I told you I was mistaken about the, the, hot air balloon ornament that I saw at Macy's. It wasn't um, Lennox. It was a different brand. Macy's wasn't carrying Lennox this year. They were carrying a different uh, different company. Oh, the tip with the cloud? Yeah, whenever you're trying to get definition between things, you don't want two exact of the same color laying on top of each other. You'll, you, they'll just melt into each other. You won't get any um, definition on that. That's why you want to do that. Markers, I need the back. Because his eyes need to be that yellow again because it was a good color. There we go. And so you guys see what's gonna happen here, right? I gotta do a quickie. Okay, here we go. I like to kind of go around here, all my straight things. I cut and I go right to the next straight thing. That tip to that tip. Now I'm done with my tips, and so then I'm gonna come in here and just kind of go get a little jaggedy jaggedy. Oh, I cut some off, oh well. Jaggedy jaggedy, hey, pretty good. Little ear part here, a little jaggedy jaggedy. Then we just have little triangles to cut, right? And then these here, whoop. just follow that curve, follow that curve. Yeah. Now again, we just go tip to tip to the next one. Then you just get those little triangles. This little triangle is going to be a little interesting. Who was it that had the um, owls in the make a card, send a card groups that I just shared that used the picture this dies that I showed earlier? Great minds think alike. And we're almost.
almost there. Sound effects with cutting, who knew? Then you just have to see, okay, where did I miss? Well, I obviously missed right here because that's still attached. <laughs> One little strange part on his foot too. You don't want to cut off that little foot, but you know, do something here. Okay, just need dimensional. Should I give him two? Sure, why not? Give him two. He's going to be flying up here in the clouds. And then, you guys, I've got this great little thing right here. Do I want to use this? It's going to cover up a lot of that. I don't know that I want to do that. I could bring it down like this. Or I could use this. Or <laughs> this I was going to talk about in our my next thing. Um, hello. the Happy Labels Pick-A-Punch and what I like about this is it is one of the kind of nicer ones that doesn't have the real big decorative ones at the end which are really really hard to even understand what to do with them but then I like to go and put it in like this so I can get that cute little edge on it like that this already has the little dots on it, but I can do that and make it smaller. And I'm gonna make it even smaller. I'm just going in there again, just making sure I got it lined up, centered. I guess I should see what I wanna say. So I am gonna pull in This one right here, and I'm going to do, this is the Easter Bunny Bundle, and I'm going to do Enjoy All the Little Moments. Where are you? Right here. Okay. I am warm. I might have to shed my little vest I have on. <laughs> I've got the heater cranked down in my stamp room. Enjoy all the little moments. And that label's really fun because it has the edging here of scallops and then it has the, like that. And then, where's my string? Not a string, it's a, I'm gonna slip this up under. And I think I'm just gonna do a little knot here. Now, when I go to do a single knot, what one of the things I do is as I'm tightening it, I go ahead and I hold the ends and I turn it over on itself so I get that good round knot at the top here. See how I did that? Just kind of held it and moved it over, but now I'm going to move it all the way to the edge here. Give it a little tight tightening. And then this is going to come right in here like so. Mm -hmm. And I am just going to glue that down. I think my owl is going to be the only thing raised up. And I'm going to come right to the edge of the white there. Enjoy the little moments. There that is just like so. And then I want I want my things. 
And I think, let's see. I could use those blues there. Look at all my goodies here. I feel like these are all just too big. I'm going to go back to these. Bump, bump. Going to use that. Go right there. Little smaller one's going to come up over here by my owl. No, up here. And. Do, 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 do. Down there. Sometimes you just want to go polar opposites. Ooh, gem came off. All right, and then on the inside, enjoy all the little moments. It's a new day. <laughs> do, do, do. It's a new day. Oh. I have not used that before, so I'm going to stamp off. Okay. Whoa, I almost stamped in the absolute wrong place. And there we go. So that is our cloud punch. And our first one was the picture this. So our picture this and our cloud punch together ended up being $53 and then you got a free celebration pick, which I suggested the adorable owls. But you know who, what else would be really cute um, is doing some things with the barnyard paper with this. And just if you purchase the barnyard bundle, you get um, a free celebration just automatically with that bundle because it's like a $52 bundle or something like that. 51 so fun those guys are fun aren't they okay you guys I have to tell you that I had um, an idea for another level one celebration and that happened to be with our Easter Bunny bundle so the stamp set with the dot with the punch and then the label me happy pick a punch Together, this bundle together with um, this comes to $58. This is a $24 punch, and this is a $34 um, purchase. So then I was thinking about the um, picture this dies, since we talked about you having that in a purchase. I had started an idea here with again one of my good things cards with the envelopes and I have a piece of the Regency Park Designer Series paper that we just talked about going here and then I already die cut out the rectangle part of the picture this dies to go over like so I already cut out a carrot because I thought oh my gosh that carrot's so cute like right there and the leaf for the carrot, because that's really cute. And then I have my little bunny here, right? And he has his little carrot. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is so, so darn cute, right? And so I was trying to think of, well, what else might I do right here? And I thought, well, why not just another carrot, right? So anyhow, that was my start of this. Oh, yeah, Cindy, I know. Are you getting any of the rain and storms that are hitting California? Is Yeah, anybody here that is in California area? I don't think so. I think everybody here is, you know, 
not in that area. So anyway, I'm just going to color my little bunny here super, super quick. Bunny's going to get all over this color. It's an interesting color for this bunny, but that's okay. because then I'll just layer the color over top. Yeah, my Miss Cindy's on the East Coast three hours. Is there anybody else? Wisconsin, Wisconsin three hours away? Or is it two? I think it's three, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know my time zones. I'm terrible. wonder if I should have done my bunny gray because he's going to be looking too much like the carrots, don't you think? <laughs> looking a little bit like the carrots. I'm trying to go around those little circles. There we are. I'll do the There we go. And you guys know, unfortunately, the punch does not do this bunny. But you know what? It's okay. This bunny is very, very quick and easy to cut out. Doesn't have a lot of things like our, the little claws of the owl. And remember, I'm going to come up, go right to that next point. I'm going to start here, go down to that next point. Paper still a little wet from the Stampin' Blends. Got to be careful. There we go. He's almost done. Now what I usually do is just go straight down, come around, and then I'll go back up to that piece that I left off. So this little piece right here, now I can get in there and There we go. So then he's going to sit here. Yeah, see, kind of he kind of looking a little bit like the uh, carrots. And then I was going to put the carrot here. And then he's got his little carrot that he's going to hold. So now if there are in the January to April mini, you've kind of ear pegged a whole bunch of the pages or put posty notes on all those pages and things like that, and you kind of add up what it is you're, you're liking and wanting, you do know that Stampin' Up! is having a promotion during celebration about joining. They're doing $175 of product for um, instead of the 125. Oh yeah, he definitely looks like it. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Should have done you gray, bunny. Should have done you gray. Because you even look a bit like your carrot. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Hello. How could you not just love him? 
him, her, it, I don't know. Let's glue our parts together. Why does it always come to the third card, you guys? And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Maybe I should just call it good at two cards, right? <laughs> oh, that sweet sorbet. I love that color. And I love this side of the pattern because it reminds me of kind of like a woven basket. See that design there? Doesn't that remind you of like a woven basket for Easter? I think so. Now the other thing that's really cute, and I think I'm going to do it. As soon as I put this down. Is... This card needs a little grass. Now, I don't know that you should do this once you put the frame around, but I'm really okay if I get a little accidental uh, overage, but we'll see what happens here. I just want to do a little, because it's photopolymer, I can see where I'm at. See, this one's too long, so I'm not going to do one right but I need to. I'm going to do a little more here because I want it to go all the way over. And I'm going to just kind of ink off the ink from the edge there. There! I needed that. I needed that grass. And then I need some color on my grass. Our bunny is going to have dimensionals. Oh, you can't even see the grass where the bunny is. That's funny. That's okay. So there's our bunny. I'm going to go ahead and do our first carrot. And I think our carrot's going to go like so. And I think it needs to be on dimensionals too, to be honest. <laughs> you guys see another pair of scissors here? Yep. Just like so. It's a big carrot and a little bunny. <laughs> it's a giant carrot. Do you see that? I love it. I just think it's funny. All right, you guys. Something just came to me. What if this other bunny was right there? Would that, wouldn't that, would that be like too, too cute to have another bunny right here like that? I would bring them down and then I could put some sort of sen sentiment right there. Right? Or I could just have another carrot that's kind of layered over here and do a sentiment right here. I'm not sure which, but you know what? I think I'm just going to keep playing with it, you guys. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just keep playing with it for a while after we're off together. And I am going to finish it and then I will post it on the Stampin' Cafe page or group if you're part of that group. And I'll do it on the Stampin' Spot too. But I think I am exceeding my hour. So I want you to tell me if you think I should put the bunny there and my sentiment up here. Oh, I didn't show you guys. You know when you cut out this die, you get these three stitched pieces. 
So you have three instant sentiment pieces here or stamp an image on here. So that's what I love about the picture this dies. And then we used, again, we used the Happy Me label punch, um, pick a punch on the other card, but I'm gonna keep going on this one. And so, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna come over here. I'm feeling a little, uh, a little bleh. All right, I want my booklet because I just want to add the other the people other people that have joined in you guys. So I want should it be the bunny or should it be oh you guys like the another bunny the two bunnies? Um, you don't think I should just do another carrot or a few carrots? No. <laughs> yeah, um, and then I think I'm gonna do well the Happy Easter I think is too long. It is. Oh, maybe I'll do a little your new friend like no other or an Easter treat for you. But yeah, so watch for that. I will finish it up with another bunny and um, that'll be fun. So let me see here. Yeah. Oh, Miss Tammy. Hello. When did you sh when did you join us there, Miss Tammy? And are you still with us, Tammy? Because usually you're like, okay, I got to go. I'm tired because it's like three hours. Sorry, I'm just writing writing people because I don't know. It could be. Or eggs on that one. Oh. I could do just a, I could do like just the thing of the little eggs right there. That would be cute. I could do the little eggs. I could do the butterfly. Yeah, I guess you guys are just going to have to wait and see what it ends up being, huh? <laughs> I have Carol and Char and I've got Linda and... Kathleen and Veronica and oh Miss Lynn awesome Nana <laughs> it's all an imagination you're right what time is it for you right now for me it's seven o'clock for some people it's nine o'clock for some people it's ten o'clock that's no bueno ten o'clock oh my gosh Okay, well, that is exciting. Now I have, let's see, I usually, you know what, I gotta slow down a little bit on doing product giveaways, you guys. The, um, the cost of shipping is getting crazy, crazy, crazy. How about the faux sea glass gems here? Shapes, faux sea glass shapes. I know we don't have those anymore. Southern California inland, we've got rain, but not devastation rain. Oh my gosh, Veronica. Oh, I'm just praying so much for those people. Greatest promotion to date. Well, um, here, I'm gonna, gosh, you guys, while I go and get my little, have my little thing with the, um, I'm transitioning back because I want you to see that I'm not uh, I'm not pulling anybody's leg when I pull my number, okay? <laughs> I want you guys to look at the 12 names that I have and make sure I haven't missed you, okay? So I have Veronica, Becky, Linda, Cheryl, Julie, Sherry, Carol, Char, Tammy, Cindy, Kathleen, and Lynn. So shout your name if I do not have you listed. And yeah, so let's talk about this right here. Just so you know, you guys, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to miss say. Okay. So stamp. Oh, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Oh my gosh. How did I not get you down here, Anne? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Nichelle. Oh my gosh. Oh, you've been quiet, Miss Nichelle. <laughs> oh, you guys, I am going to do, okay, for you guys that are local Nomies here, I'm going to do a local Nomies Stampin' Night where we are gosh, just going to do Nomies. We're going to stamp gnomes. We're going to create cards. We're going to have all sorts of fun. And, um, of course, we'll use Stampin' Up! Nomies, but there's a heck of a lot of Nomies out there and things and stuff. And so we're just going to have a fun night of Nomies. It'll be a Friday night. Yeah. 
So that'll be fun. I, I just have to pick the date. Anywho, Stampin' Up's usual um, joining promotion is um, 100, 120, oh, what is it? 100, whatever, for $99. <laughs> like my brain can't think of it. Anyway, during celebration, they're doing $55 more than they normally would. So I guess if you take 175, take 100, okay. It's 125. So, so option three here is just the standard. You do $175 a product for $99. Or you can choose the white mini machine, a $63 value, plus your choice of $175, but then you would be paying $129 joining fee. Or option one, the Boho Blue mini machine. So this is during January and February, and some people ask sometimes about joining. They're like, I have this huge wish list. What happens if I join and I, I um, what do I have to do? Well, to, to continue to get a 20 or 25% discount on your purchasing uh, for being a demonstrator, you have to do in every three months, in each quarter, you have to have $300 in sales or purchases. Any sale, workshop, your orders, people's orders, customers' orders, it doesn't matter. Um, has, it needs to be $300 for you to be active and continue to be active. There is no Stampin' Up! Police. There's no, you have, don't have to give things back. If you, you get a starter thing, you get all those goodies and you're going and something happens and you just you just can't keep up your hobby. Most most people that have signed up with me, they are basically hobbyists, right? They they um they um do their own. We don't have a 15. Can you believe that? We're at 14. <laughs> But anyway, so if you want to know more about it, just message me. I love it. If I could join again, I would. Miss Carol, 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 Carol is getting the sea glass shapes. Miss Carol, that was fun. Somebody else is going to have to win something. Carol, I'm going to put a star by there and turn that over and put Carol's name on it with my stamp and blend. Oh, that is not showing. I won't do it with my Stampin' Blend. <laughs> okay, Carol. I know that's Carol. Let's do something else. How about, ooh, how about this three pack of this beautiful, what do they call it? Well-suited twine. It's very nice and good for, um, oh, ooh, I don't wanna, oh, I don't wanna give this away, but I'm going to, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> this would look really good with that sea, with that boat, one that I did last week those colors wouldn't it oh so whoever gets this you're gonna have to get that um what is that one called on the boat what is it oh my gosh sailing away i don't know i don't know the names of things yet it's called oh on the ocean i should have known that man i used that last week the on the ocean bundle this bundle's 53 dollars. you just buy that bundle and you get a celebration set done ah love it okay Who's going to get this? And this is the last one, you guys, because otherwise I will just keep going. And I just can't. The shipping is getting so expensive. Number eight. Number eight is Miss Char. Oh, it's my far away friends. My goodness. You guys are being lucky. And Miss Char gets the twine. I'll just write twine. Hello, I don't need to write on it. And you get the shapes, Carol. Well, goodness gosh, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I wish you all safe, safe travels. Be safe at home. All this weather, even for us local, we're getting eh, nasty weather again, too. So um, I appreciate you guys so much. Blessings to you all. Until next time, happy stamping. <laughs>